In the last screencast we looked at using the pen tools. This time we're going to look at stamping. So stamping is where when the stamp command is pressed the sprite leaves behind an Im image of itself. So we're going to put together a little interactive stamping demo. So to do that what we'll do is we'll make the cat always follow the mouse around and move after it and then be stamping a copy of itself as it goes. So to do the movement stuff what we'll do is we'll take 10 steps and then we'll point towards the mouse pointer and if we do that in a loop Scratch is following after us and maybe if I want that to be a little bit slower I'll change that to five steps. There we go. Now let's do something in parallel. Let's make another loop and this time we will um, in the pen tools we'll stamp and we will wait uh, one second before stamping again. I'll start this one off it covers in the yellow border that tells me that it's running start the next one down and then every second we leave another scratch the cat behind ourselves we can adjust those numbers so if I reduce this number down to 0.1 I should be getting 10 times as many copies there we go now if I want both of these loops to start at once I can use the when green flag event and then when I click the green flag up here it sends a message to both of these and both these loops start at once let's clear the screen there we go and maybe what I'll do is shrink the cat down a bit and I'll also use one of these color effects so in looks I can say change color effect and maybe I'll do that every time it stamps I'm going to change the color effect by 10 let's have a look see what difference that makes so now as he's being stamped around his color is always changing 